Uh, hello, this is Bruno and I'm gonna show you my first project for Data Dilemma in Cloud Computing. This is a course I'm taking here at University of Victoria and basically my idea was to build some some app to show some trends ba based on tweets. For example, you can type here a few words that you can search on Twitter and then my app will build a kind of trend tool that you can that could help you to decide about something. I I'm basically improving the assignment we did before using the English words rated by this researcher Finn. There is basically a file with words and their weights. So you just put all of them inside your script. This way here I'm using PHP language. And then you can interpret each tweet and say the value for each one. So I'm going to demonstrate my app right now. So it's, it's very simple. You just type here a few words like um, Apple iOS 7 and hit OK. And then my app will use the tweet, Twitter, sorry, Twitter API version 1.1. And then you can, I can build some charts here. I'm using the Google Chart API. And I'm just counting the number of positive and negative tweets. In this case, here you have. 85% of positive feedback from this query I'm using here so I'm just adding this character here to to say to tweet tweet Twitter API that I'm using a space between two words and then you have a list of tweets here you can see the value for each one sometimes it gets zero because some words are not included in the file I showed you earlier and you have a list of all of them the maximum number I can of tweets that I can use for the get method is a hundred so you can see all the tweets here and I'm using the Google Maps API as well but sometimes it depends on the user if if they allow you to to see their coordinates you can you can have some values for for this search here i i i didn't have any any information but let me try another one here uh, microsoft for this case here I have two users that I can see their coordinate coordinates so this one here in United States and this one here in Peru and you see the feedback from this amount of tweets that I've got here and 84% of them is positive and 16% is negative I'm calculating this chart here based on the tweets weight and I'm doing some percentage calculation here and you can see some some tweets and what people are saying about whatever you type here so this is my idea it has some problems and some improvements that I can that I can make for example I I could improve it to search only on Twitter's which have coordinates so this way you have you can build a more crowded map here and what else and I can I can make more complex search here this uh, for now I can just type a few words separate by space but we can use sometimes hashtags but 
for this app here I'm not I'm not allowed to use hashtags just a few words separated by space and that's it this is my my idea as I as I said before it has some improvements to be done and this is this was just my first step and I hope I can add some new improvements so if you if you if you like it or if you have any any suggestions please le leave a comment so that I can see and try to add later uh, let me try here one more word this is my team my Brazilian team so it has more people around the world and you can see the percentage here 88 percent of positive feedback and 12 percent of negative feedback and you have some tweets here and that's it i hope you enjoy it and thank you